Hey, what's up, my mates? How you doing? Happy Sunday to you, everyone. Uh, it is me, Lastly, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, I mean, as it is Sunday, please feel free to just take a load off. Just sit back, relax, enjoy. Maybe grab a snack or a nice drink or a coffee or something like that uh, to enjoy today's episode with. Um, if you do enjoy it, please do me a small favor and just hit that thumbs up button uh, and subscribe as well to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you've stumbled across. So today... We are going to start off by just finishing off this Icon player pick. Now, uh, I'd got the first two squads done, and we'd managed to get some really nice fodder over the end of last episode. Uh, so we're just going to literally rip this bad boy open right now. It's base, winter wild cards, team of the year Icon, Mia Ham, R9, welcome to the club! Uh... Um... Uh, uh, base Hugo Sanchez, base Chabi Alonso, base Lampard, L, major L, unfortunately, hey, it is what it is, uh, the Ronaldinho, Pele, R9, Mia Ham dream will have to just live on for another day, I mean, yeah, you have to go through the rough times to understand just how good the good times are, right? Is that some, something like that as a saying? Uh, and uh, unfortunately, just the, the very start of this episode with that icon pick is one of those uh, rough times. So, <clears throat> I did manage to get just a few little player picks done. I'm actually going to bring the desk down just a tiny bit because I feel like I'm hardly in on in shot here. Um, but yeah, we, we got a few little player picks done. Uh, Milinkovic Savic as a walkout, it's not too bad, we did get ourselves a Neuer as well, not bad from seven player picks in all honesty, uh, we couldn't, I couldn't quite get ten done at the time, but, uh, we are going to dabble a little bit today in that, uh, the fantastic fun that is, uh, putting high rated players into the exchange and then grinding a load of player picks and stuff out from them, uh, which is, obviously, it's probably something that as you're watching it now, obviously this was done like Thursday, Friday before I went to Cardiff away, um, so obviously we're still in Fantasy FC. Um, the, the the annoying bit is that, that this grind is probably over now, unless unless we've got some good uh, like upgrade recyclable stuff. Um, but the player picks might have gone and that sort of thing. So uh, obviously the exchanges are still here for a, a good month or so. But yeah, we we might not be able to do the exact same grind uh, until maybe Monday, perhaps if that's when we get the next batch of player picks or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, we get the, the that little start a bit out of the way. I am going to move on into what was my daily eighty four times fives, eighty what was it, eighty five plus player pick that sort of thing. But you you get that just simply by doing your daily bronze, do your daily silver, do your daily gold uh, upgrades. That will give you enough to do a couple player picks, which will get you enough to get a little bit of fodder to complete an 84 times 5 You know the drill by now. You all know the drill by now. And then every now and again, like, you'll get something from these little gold player packs that is just better than normal. And, you know, that's an 85 Grealish here for me. Uh, we can go ahead and submit that straight into an 85 plus player pick uh, just to get rid of the duplicate fodder. And can we get anything good out of this? Well, let's have a little look-see, shall we? Yeah. Grealish pops up again. How annoying. Um, but yeah, 87 Sandra Panos. I guess, yeah, we, we turned it into a slightly higher rated piece of fodder, but not ideal, is it? So, uh, an 82 rated squad with an inform goes in for an 84 times 5. Can we get anything from this today? Uh, we're seeing gold flares roll around, but we know that doesn't necessarily mean that we're just getting uh, gold. Could end up being a blue behind it or something, but it is a double walkout with Lucy Bronze and Rodri. Oh, decent. 89 rated is not something that I'm used to getting from these packs. Uh, although the last couple days, I have to say, they've been somewhat kind to me. Uh, so that's really nice. Yeah, three 84s, but an 87 and an 89 W of the capital variety. Uh, another 84 times 5. Let's get this one done as well. Uh, I'm actually starting to build up a decent amount of higher tier informs in my club at the moment. I've got quite a lot of like 87, 88 rated informs in my club which i don't typically like to pop into these 
Um, so yeah, it's, it's odd. Even the team of the week player picks I'm doing just to get the lower rated ones. I keep getting like half decent pulls, which is crazy. Uh, but we get double 88s in this one, which is very similar to getting an 87 and an 89 really, isn't it? So, uh, very similar pack to what we got in the in the very last one and then let's put this together for the final one of the day uh probably the final one of the week actually because i don't think they're i'm guessing they expire um friday night so come on little blue little cheeky blue oh that's a different flair that's going to be a little inform so that looks to me like a milinkovic savage double walkout with the second one being an inform it's exactly what that is and it is the liverpool women's right back or right wing back um, Koi Visto, who has a star above the numbers, two play style pluses, decent pace, decent defending and physical. Actually looks like a, a pretty solid card, doesn't she? Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, I mean, probably end up just being fodder, but you never know when a good Evo is going to come out that you can turn that sort of card into an utter beast. We shall see. Um, but, yeah, with the duplicate 86 there, it's going to go into an 86 overall exchange. Now, I am going to be a little bit more rip the band-aid off kind of thing. Uh, in in a little bit with my exchanges, uh, but we do get a blue. Oh, it's Kandreva already owned three, already owned players in this one. Not ideal, uh, but we can stuff him straight into an 88 plus exchange, right? And that's what got me thinking. Maybe I should be just, even though they're non duplicates, maybe I should put that Rodri, the the Irene Paredes, the Endler, all of those 89s, 88s that I just managed to pack. Um, maybe I should pop them into the exchanges and then grind out a load of player picks uh, because duplicates along the way means I'll get like the odd team of the week player pick done. You never know what you're going to get in a um, in one of these packs right here. As you can see, a 27 player pack got me an 86 and an 85. Lovely stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more of that. Now I got my final daily games played completionist objective done, which gets me an 84 times 5 and an 85 times 4. Terrific stuff. Uh, so let's get this stuff open then, shall we? This is just a, an individual 84 plus pack from actually playing the daily play. Uh, we're going to get ourselves either Saka or Beth Mead. And it's going to be Bakayo Saka this time. England's right winger, 86 overall rated. Great little bit of fodder there. Um, do you know what? At some point, I'd really like a nice high rated super meta version of Saka. And I'd like to use that. That would be really cool. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll get one at some point in time. He has got a couple special cards, I know, but I just they're out of my league in terms of being able to afford them and stuff. Uh, double walkout then in this one, we get ourselves a Mares and a uh, Bruno Fernandez triple walkout with a Barella, and there's also an 85 inform in there as well. And then an 85 times four, I'm seeing an inform, but that's Donnarumma, right? So Donnarumma double walkout inform behind it, love that. Donnarumma 87, and then Ariola 88. Two high-rated goalkeepers there. Um, welcome to the club. Like I said, these, these informs that I'm getting are kind of nuts. Oh, we do get a blue behind it as well. It's an 88 Martson, uh, who, of course, has received one upgrade so far. We're going to stick him straight back into the 88 exchange, but um, in a, an ideal world, I probably would have tried to like maybe discard it or, or quick sell it and then grab it back a couple of days later, do the same again. But I've just run out of quick sell recoveries, I think, um, just so that he could maybe get more upgrades, but that's going to take too long. So we'll stick him into the to the thing and work and work with the players that we've got right now at their current rating. So as, as you can see, we stick it in, get 27 players back. Yeah, we don't get anything great, but of course it does lead to us getting uh, some player picks done. Um, here's just one at the moment, because I wasn't sure if I was doing plenty or just, just the odd one here and there get myself an 85 rated Galeno. So uh, that's kind of already helped a lot. You know, we get ourselves an Inform 85 from that. I know it's not as good as an 88 rated uh, Fantasy FC, but it does the job. You know, it helps us out in the club. It gives us more stuff to work with. So there goes my Rodri. Uh, here goes my Irene and Endler and Bruno. I, I decided that the 88s and 89s were the ones to do here. Um, keeping the 87s and 86s in my club just because if like a, a, a not so top tier SBC comes out, I should have a fair amount of them to complete the player SBC or whatever it is. Uh, but then these higher rated cards get you more players, obviously, for, um, for, for for these packs. And I mean, to start things off, 
we submitted an 88 rated player for this squad right here, uh, for this pack right here, and we get ourselves an 88 rated inform in return. What an absolute dubsky that is. And there, there was a good shot of uh, how the ball reflects off the shiny ground. I really like that. Uh, I know I've said that a couple of times. But an 88 rated inform Sorloth. Or Sirlot is probably how you pronounce it. Uh, and then some other players in the club. 26 more players in the club. Uh, it just makes that a complete and utter dubsky right off the bat. Um, you don't need to get a walkout in all of these. Because really, you're just looking for the half half decent fodder in this is, an, is a bonus. The rest is just like rares, non-rares. Pop them into player picks. Pop them into team of the week player picks. That sort of thing. Uh, and you're golden. So that's exactly what we're going to do after we open all of these packs up. If I do get any duplicates along the way here, I typically just pop them into like one little player pick, open it, and you might not even see that on camera uh, if uh, if I don't get anything from it. Um, but then a 51 player pack here is going to get me a Belgium goalkeeper. I really hope this would have been Courtois. The 51 player pack, you kind of do hope to maybe get a, a walkout from, but it's not always the case. And obviously, you have quite a lot of uh, you get quite a lot of player picks out of a 51 player pack. Um, so that's that's really nice. We get a couple 84s or whatever, but that, n nothing too special out of that, considering we submitted a um, Ruben Diaz for it or a Rodri or whatever it was. But we do then get a Team of the Week player pick from it, uh, from some of the duplicates, and I get the choice of Araujo, Kante, or Son. I mean, that's a ridiculous player pick. Take myself the Son as, as it was the highest rated card there, um, and then we'll move on to 20... Player picks in a row. Starting straight off with an 88 or black. Can't get better than that. Um, oh, wait. Maybe it can because I could get an 89 Ruben Diaz. Lovely stuff. And a 90 Lewandowski. Come on. We've just made that completely and utterly worth it. I can't believe the first few player picks there. Huge dub for the club. Uh, it's made that so worthwhile because, one, you know, we've still got player picks to go. We've added informs into the club, you know, like crazy in the background that are extra. We've managed to get the fodder back easily um, and some, you know, higher rated stuff. And another 88 and the odd 87 and that, this, that and the other. So like, and of course, it's got me the content for today's video. I haven't even delved into the weekend league yet. I need to do that. Probably going to be left all till Sunday, Monday, um, which is uh, a little bit scary. But, you know, it is what it is. 87 Odegaard there. 88 Bruno. What a batch of player picks this was. It really was solid. I was sat there kind of like open mouth, like gawping at it, just thinking like, wow, this is this really worked out well for me. Um, we, we got an absolute lucky batch. So, uh, yeah, you do have... You do have moments on the game which are luckier than others. You know, obviously the icon pick at the very start of the video was just an L. Um, another informed player pick. We got ourselves 88 Gundogan. Uh, so yeah, as you can see there, we've definitely upped the fodder levels uh, from what we did have before. Going to go ahead and stick the 88s and 89s into exchanges as well. Do it all over again. Uh, and now I guess it's not going to work out that well every single time. Um, but I think in, in the long run, if you... If you do the grind and then you get, say, 20 player picks, if you can get a couple of the 88s back or um, maybe a few 87s or, or that sort of thing, maybe a special card, maybe an inform, um, and you've managed to get informs in the background and some lower rated walkouts as well at the same time, I think you're doing your club good by this do by doing this exchange grind. So, uh so yeah, we, you know, we might not come out of the end of this with a club full of 90s, 89s, 88s, uh, but we will have definitely upped like the inform levels and uh, just the overall players in the club. Uh, so we're going to get ourselves a daily Luka Modric from the 50, 51 player pack. Um, exquisite Dubsky, an absolutely lovely, delicious one. Uh, but he, I believe, is a duplicate, I think. Yeah, he is a duplicate. So, he, you know, that's an 87 that can go straight into uh, the 87 exchange, which is a little bit smaller pack that I typically don't like. So I did that and I uh, did a player pick with the other dupes and the player pick got me another Luka Modric. So that's two Luka Modric's in a row that are going to go straight into 87 exchanges. So you, you can't write that. That just randomly happened. Uh, and then from all of that stuff that we just put in, we get another 20 player picks to open to end this episode out will we get anything like what we just got in that previous one well we start with an 85 then a rubbish one 
Then uh, rubbish run again. I'm going to class 85s as the only good ones here. Maybe 84s as like an okay and above. Oh, 89, Allison. Huge dub. 87, Marquinhos. Go on, son. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, already this is this is working out pretty well. Um, couple of nice high-rated players to get in there. What we could do with is probably one more, like 88 along the way. That would be quite solid. Uh, 84 again. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the minimum I really want. Again, 84 minimum I want. 84. Come on, give me that nice high-rated card. Oh, dear, that was an L. Moving on quickly. Uh, 84 Martinelli. It's got to be one more good one here. Oh, 86 Trent. That's all right. But I want one more high-rated card. Come on. No, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, however, still, not, not a bad shout. Not a bad run at all, really. Uh, and in that one, we did get another 89 and stuff. So uh, I was... I was very happy, not going to lie. Uh, so one more Team of the Week player pick. Just to end things off, we get ourselves 86 Giroud. We've definitely upped the levels of decent stuff, useful fodder in our club. And that brings us to the end of the episode. And I know it's Sunday and I've not even touched the weekend league yet. Um, but my Friday trip to Cardiff and Saturday actually watching the game at Cardiff and uh, Sunday plans and stuff has just like completely thrown me off the last few days. Whether or not we get to the weekend league, you'll see tomorrow. Uh, but thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up button all of that good stuff follow me on social media you know the drill by now have a lovely rest of your day my friends and i look forward to seeing you in the next episode peace